Hey, are you all right? I've put my hair up. I've been out with the dog, I've just come in. I'll get my hair out of the way. I put my hair down when I go out with the dog, it keeps me ears warm. I'm gonna make garlic chicken and mushroom with roast potatoes, something nice for tea. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine first. Got my glass, got my wine, hummingbird. I've got them in the Virgin Wine Club. So this one's a nice one. Nice. Right, I'm gonna chop some potatoes. Potatoes peeled and cut into quite small chunks. Now pour over about a tablespoon of olive oil. Get your hands in, get them all coated. You can use fry light if you want to. Into the oven. On 200 until they're golden. Finely chop an onion. Just fry your onion up in a little bit of oil or some fry light. Pop in half a teaspoon of salt. That lets all the moisture come out of the onion so you don't need as much oil and it won't burn or stick. So that's a little tip. I've chopped 400 grams of mushrooms. I don't wash or peel them, I just rub any dirt off because there's no need to wash or peel them. Cut them however you like. I've just quartered mine because they were quite big. You can slice them, have them whole, whatever you like. It's up to you. If your onions start to catch, just add a little bit of water. We want your onions soft. Throw in your mushrooms. Three cloves of grated garlic going. Now this is optional. It all depends how good you're being, but you can put a little bit of wine in there. Only 200 mils, it's not a lot. And this will serve four people, so it's only 50 mils each. But 200 mils, can you hear that sizzle? And that'll make it nicer. But if you don't want to put that in, it's fine, a bit of water. We want these mushrooms to cook down. So this has been cooking away for five minutes and it smells absolutely divine. That garlic's cooked down so it, you can smell it in the kitchen and it's beautiful. It smells like a restaurant. That's my new washing machine on spin. My old washing machine decided to pack in on New Year's Day so I've had a new one. Not surprising with the amount of washing that I have to do. So now we're just going to pop in a chicken stock pot or a beef stock pot. Up to you. With 300 mils of water, hot water, and three chicken breasts that I've chopped up. And that chicken's just gonna gently poach in that liquid. It's gonna be beautiful. Potatoes looking good. Chicken's cooked through now. We're gonna cream it up a little bit. I've got some 50% less fat creme fraiche. I'm gonna start by putting two tablespoons in just to see where that takes us. And if I need more, we can add more. Give it a taste. That tastes good. But my sauce is too thin, so I'm gonna use some corn flour. One tablespoon of corn flour into a cup. Stir it together. Just add it to your sauce. You can see how that's thickened up nicely. Snip in some parsley. If you haven't got fresh, just use some dried parsley. Black pepper, as much as you like. And that's ready. Roast potatoes look good. How good's this? Some lovely garlic, chicken and mushroom. Some nice crusty bread that I've done, roast potatoes and just some green beans for a bit of colour and veg. Just going to have a dip of some bread in this sauce because there's plenty of sauce. That's good. It's almost soupy. That's really good. So, so tasty. Give it a go. If you've watched it till now, give it a like. At best, give it a share. I know that you'll like this. Have a great evening. See you soon. Bye-bye.